Everything you're buying at the grocery store costs more. New data released today shows in some areas we're seeing the biggest spike in more than 30 years. Right in time for the biggest meal of the year and the busiest time to travel. Prices continue to climb on everything from gas to home heating to that Thanksgiving turkey. And the increase shows no signs of stopping. A trip to the grocery store is no different. And with a new report released today, the consumer price index has gone up 6.2% in 12 months, the biggest surge since 1990. And Aaron, it's affecting nearly everything we buy. Energy prices are up 30% in the last 12 months. Used cars and trucks cost 26% more. Clothing cost 4.3% more over the previous 12 months. And it's even more noticeable at the grocery store. Vanessa Perez shows us. From cereal to milk to eggs and pork, nearly everything you're buying right now costs more. And more immediately, your holiday meal just got pricier. The USDA says frozen turkey prices are up 22% from last year. Here at Second Harvest, volunteers are getting ready to distribute nearly 14,000 40-pound family boxes. They're seeing the effects of those rising costs firsthand. When mac and cheese goes up by 20%, that affects us like everyone else. Another thing is, is you know, a lot of the people who we serve are on very fixed incomes, and if they or if they barely making it, and if their food prices go up, that just means they need us all the more. They're having to make changes to those holiday boxes, having to swap out yams for olives this year, and we're filling it across the board. The Labor Department's new report says meat prices are way up specifically beef with a 20.1% hike and pork up 14%. Second Harvest says they're fortunate to have most food donated, but they still have to go to the market for some items. And doing whatever we can to keep our costs down. The lower our costs are, the more food we can buy and the more people we can get food to. Cost increases are being blamed on a drop in production and inflation. Experts say they don't know when increases will stop or if prices will go down. Reporting in Spokane, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now.